I have a picture of the story of my life on my wall here. I got married um, and had two babies and I always identified with the swan, not all my life. I was like the ugly duckling that turned into the swan. And uh, then when I got married, uh, after the children was bo were born, these are pictures of what my life was like. And these really, really helped me a whole lot. This one says, though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou will revive me. It's Psalm 138, seven. And it's a flower blooming in the crack of like a desert or something. And this is a daisy blooming in the crack of a sidewalk. Because my marriage got troublesome for me. I wasn't sure that my husband even liked me from some of the things that he said. And I was very sensitive and I felt very depressed. But I learned that I didn't want my children, two little children, to know that my life wasn't lovely. And so I made myself lovely and I sunk my roots deep into God's love. And that means that I found friends that were Christians and, and really nice people to love me. Um, I might run into somebody. I just trusted God that whatever I needed, it would be there. So I sunk my roots really, really deep into his love. And I had this girlfriend, um, and this is a picture that represents her. Her name was Marta, and here's a picture of her. We um, dressed alike and got our picture taken, but we would walk all the time. And at this time in my life, I was 47, because she was 40, her license plate said, uh, red hot 40 and we'd walk and what we would talk about would be how we could get our husbands to notice us and what we could do that would be interesting and how we could develop ourselves and I got this idea that I wanted to sing this song let me call you sweetheart and I took voice lessons for a whole year to learn how to sing this and I went to my husband's office he had a very private office with uh, doors without windows that closed and I went in with a trench coat on and go-go boots and underneath a sexy outfit and I was going to sing him this song let me call you sweetheart but he got so embarrassed he got on his knees and begged me to leave and I was so disappointed but as time went on um, my life became more like this I feel like this was a picture of my marriage it's sort of like just all dried up and um, and I had to walk away. And so friend Nancy got me this picture. It's by Seth, who lives in Thomas, West Virginia. That's where his gallery is. And this little person is walking away. And over here, there's a new life. But this was a very, very lonely journey for me because all I really knew and all I really ever wanted to be was a good wife and a good mother. So anyway, I'm more or less over here now, have a new life. And I just recently found this picture. It's uh, from the Secret Garden. And it says, she made herself stronger by fighting with the wind. And I realized that all the trouble that I had in my life was like the wind. And even though I had my feet or roots planted in God's love, he gave me all that wind to make me stronger. They did a study in Arizona where they planted trees and they were in perfect environment. They had perfect soil and nutrients and water and sunshine. But when they got to a certain age, they all fall over because they had no wind. And so I'm very, very thankful for all the trouble I've had in my life. It has made me a stronger person. And I want to be one of those people that somebody else can sink their roots down into and I'd be able to help them. So that's why I'm even making these videos. Something's going to help somebody, I just feel for sure.